Hi guys, in this video we're going to go over a topic called coercion and that happens when you try to mix two different classes into the same vector. So we've seen that we could create vectors using the C function and we've done it where we've passed in the same class for all our elements in our vector. So in this case, look at this numeric vector here. We pass in numeric values for our, our elements in this vector. But now we're going to pass in different classes to the vector. So here's a, um, a numeric value and here is a, uh, a character value. These are two different classes, two different data types. So what happens when we print this out? What is the class going to be here? So let's run this code and see what happens. I'm just going to highlight those lines and press this run button. And notice it prints out the vector here. And it says the class of this vector is a character. Well, why is it character? You know, we have one element that's a character and one, one element that's numeric. Well, it's character because when you, do, when you do this, when you mix classes into a vector, R, it could do a couple things. It could return an error or it could try to find the, the, the class that it can reduce both, both of these elements to. And in this case, it's going to do that. That's what coercion is. R finds the lowest level class that it could convert both of these elements to. And so you're passing in a numeric value and a character value. And R says, okay, I'm going to treat both of these as a character. So that's what's going on here. That's what coercion is, where you take one data type, like here's a numeric data type, and it gets coerced into another data type. In this case, 500 is being coerced into character, and you could see that these, these, uh, these quotes around it. Now look at this, this example. Here we have a numeric data type, and we have a logical data type. Again, there are two different data types or classes. Um, you could say the same thing, data types and classes. And when we run th these three lines of code, uh, what get? Well, we get 5,000 5, and <coughs> 0 is printed out. And it says the class of this vector is numeric. So what's going on here? Well, we pass in a numeric value and we pass in a logical value. Well, it looks like that everything got converted to numeric. So that means that false, which is the logical value we passed in, it got coerced into a numeric value and this represents something that you'll see while you're programming is that false in R is represented as zero and there you could see it. Um, if I pass in true you're gonna see that uh, true gets represented as one. So here when I pass in true and I run the code true gets represented as one. So in this case a numeric and a logical value will be coerced, both of them coerced to numeric. And finally, here's another example. Um, I'm passing in a, a logical value and a character value. <laughs> and let's see what this gets coerced to. If I run this, look what happens. Um, I pass in Bob, I pass in false, and both of those get coerced to character. So it looks like in that case, the lowest level is, is the character class. So that's all coercion is. Um, you want to be aware of it because sometimes you're going to encounter an error in your code uh, when something like this happens. Uh, not an error in your code, but you might encounter some funky data when something like this happens where you have a character being slipped into your vector uh, and the rest of the vector is numeric, something like that. So just be aware of what coercion is and have a general concept of classes in R and the fact that some classes... Uh, are, have higher priority or uh, yeah I guess you could say higher priority than others because these are being coerced down to the lowest level class. Just try to think of it like that. So this numeric and this character get, gets coerced to a character uh, vector, the entire thing. In the next video we'll look at a way where you can do the coercion manually. Let's say you want to you want to do this coercion um, and you want to decide to make everything numeric or you want to decide to make the whole vector character. We'll see how we can do that in the next video.